What's up, all you Hulkamaniacs? This episode, we're reviewing Mattel's WWE Hulk Hogan Defining Moments action figure, brother. Kick it. So, kicking it off. Looks like we're getting the same Defining Moments packaging we've been getting with almost all the other Defining Ones with some minor changes. But I really like this packaging. It looks good on display, and it showcases the figure very well. And it's got the double H's in both the corners. It says Hulk Hogan Defining Moments. So, on both the sides, you have the WWE logo on top. You get a picture of Hogan right there. And he's kind of got a creepy look on his face. Yeah. And on the back, they got the signature tattered Hulk shirt design kind of going. And then a little synopsis on WrestleMania 3. Feel free to pause and read it, but it basically says that Andre the Giant let Hogan body slam him. And then he gracefully passed the torch over. And then the bottom of the package. All right, let's open them up. I'm an unreal American man. I'm on a fire phone with my man. All right, so the figure out of the package. And I do believe that this is the first, like, Mattel Hulk Hogan figure in this scale. I know they had, like, Jack Specific and TNA Impact ones, but I think this is, like, the first, like, official one for Mattel. I could be wrong, though. So Mattel did a good job on the Hulkster. He's looking just like how he did in WrestleMania 3. So he comes with a bunch of accessories, and so far, so good. And on the back side, he's got the signature cuts that he'd always have on his shirts and probably the best Hulk Hogan head sculpt I've seen on a figure. I'm really liking the detail on his mustache. That looks real good. And then on his hair, his bandana is looking pretty solid. He's got that tearaway Hulkamania shirt. He's rocking his belt. And he's got the wrist tape just painted on right there. He's got the two-tone red knee pads and just your basic boots. And all the little wrinkles and everything sculpted in the knee pad looks good. You have a darker red in the front, and then on the back's a little bit lighter. So yeah, just those basic yellow boots. You got the back of those knee pads again, some Hulkster booty, and then you can see all the slits on the back of his shirt, more of the hair sculpt, and then it kind of looks like he's rocking a toupee almost. Yeah, you see that? He's rocking a toupee. And his biggest accessory is the tearaway Hulkamania shirt, and it's a really like squishy, rubbery material. So the championship belt's probably my favorite accessory. I mean, the paint naps and the sculpt on it's awesome. You can see all the flag sculpted in there. I mean, just look at it. It's so giant. And his little Hulkamania headband. The headband's a really flexible rubber material. And it's removable. But when you remove it, he's got these two gaping holes on the side of his hair. He's got a removable gold chain with the crucifix on it. Moving it is a little bit tricky. You kind of just have to pull it behind his hair. And then get it over his hair. And then you just pull it over the top. Articulation! So his head can rock side to side a little bit. And he can spin all the way around. He can look down just a little bit. And just up a little bit. His arms move up about that much. It swivels at the shoulder. And he also has an upper bicep swivel. And he's rocking a single jointed elbow. I wish they'd start putting double jointed elbow in these figures. That would be awesome. His wrist swivels all the way around. It hinges forward all the way. And a little bit back. Hogan can crunch forward about that far. And about that far back. And his waist swivel allows him to rotate all the way around. His leg doesn't kick back, but it can kick up about that far. And he can spread his legs out pretty far. He's got an upper thigh swivel. And a double jointed knee and top of the boot rotation and his ankle rocks back and forth slightly the stiff ankle joints don't really move up but they move all the way down you know just in case you want to reenact scenes from mr nanny Mar and he has peg holes on the bottom of his feet wait does that say 2011 does that mean this figure was made four years ago and we're just getting it now so hogan's clocking in at exactly seven inches tall and lined up next to some of his greatest rivalries under the giant ultimate warrior macho man randy savage oh yeah Next to the Walgreens exclusive Flash Thompson Venom. And I threw Rocky in there just out of curiosity. Maybe do like a Thunder Lips, Rocky kind of feud. But he's way out of scale. I mean, he needs to be like eye level with his titties to be right. I'm going to break you, meatball. And then I just threw in a bunch of Hulk Hogan figures I have. A couple old school Hasbro figures. And that goofy TNA Impact figure. Yeah, so I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan fan. But seeing this figure on the shelf, I just had to pick it up. It looks so sick. They did a really good job with this one. Uh, so far, every Defining Moments figure I've picked up has been real solid, so I'd highly recommend this figure. Thanks for watching this review. Subscribe, check out some of my other videos, say your prayers, take your vitamins, and we'll catch you next time. Look at that big girly man.